Hello, Top Tip Tuesday time, and today we're going to be jumping into Nexus, and we're going to have a look at how we can use NX Fluids to create some colourful paint, and then we're going to use NX Blend to blend the colours of that paint so they mix realistically. It's really, really good technique, this. Very simple to set up. So let's get that clock started, and we'll begin. In our scene then we have this very basic fluid sim set up. We have an emitter, let's have a look at those settings. In the object tab we're in circle emitter shape, minus y emitter plane. In the emission tab we are hexagonal emission and we have zero speed with a radius of one centimetre. Then let's have a look in our NX gravity that's in the scene. This is set to 500 centimetres, pulling those particles down. And we have a fluid sim because we have an NX fluids in the scene. This is default apart from we've changed the solver to SBH and the sub steps up to four, which is giving us this very basic um, fluid sim, which doesn't look that great at the moment. What we want to do is make this much more viscous. So we're going to make this a gloopy liquid and we'll do that by adding some NX constraints. Let's go to Nexus and we'll add an NX constraint. There it is. We're going to put our iterations up to three, which is a good starting point for Sims. And the constraint we're going to add is not a birth connection. We want to add a viscosity constraint. And we want to say any one particle can connect with up to three other particles with a viscosity constraint if they are within, let's say, 20 centimetres of each other. And just with those um, constraints, we're now getting, yep, this really cool, viscous, gloopy liquid. Let's bring a bit of movement into this by um, animating this emitter. We'll go to the XP emitter, to the tags, animation tags, and add a vibrate tag. We'll enable position. Let's add amplitude. We'll leave that on the X at 100. On the Z, we'll put 100 as well. But we'll put our frequency way down so it's not animating too wildly. Now hit play. And you can see, look, our um, emitter is moving. And that's giving us this uh, bit of animation in our scene. Excellent. Right, so what we want to do, we want to start mixing some gloopy liquids together. So we need another one. So what we could do, let's just uh, duplicate our emitter. So we'll hold control, drag this down, and the only change we'll make is the colour. Let's go to the display tab, and we'll change this to an equally garish colour. Let's put a horrible green. And just so the vibrate tag isn't moving in exactly the same way, let's go to the second vibrate tag and just change this random seed up one, which means it'll have different movement based on the underlying noise. So now we've got two gloopy liquids interacting with each other. They're bouncing off each other. But the problem we have obviously, is that there is no kind of mixing of these fluids, it seems. Um, the green stay green and the pink stay pink. So we're going to blend these colours, which gives us a really nice kind of mixed paint look. This, traditionally on the CPU, was a very, very heavy operation, but now we have blending on the GPU, it calculates really quickly. Let's go to Nexus, and we'll go to the objects. We'll bring in an NX Blend. There it is. Now, by default, the only parameter, particle parameter, that's going to be blended with other particles is the color. But we could blend scale, rotation, mass, radius. But we'll just leave it on color. Now, if we hit play now, we're not going to see much blending going on. Look, it's not really looking much different to what it was before. And that's because our strength is actually quite low at 10%. So look, let's ramp this up to 200%. And what it's saying is, any one particle will blend its colour with any other particle within a distance of 10 centimetres of each other. It will blend it at a strength of 200%, and it'll keep blending and blending and blending for 300 maximum frames, and then it'll stop blending and just keep whatever colour it has. So now when we hit play with that increased strength, you're going to see, yeah, look, where these are meeting down here, look, we're getting that really cool blend of colour. And it's continuing to blend for 300 frames, which means that we're getting this much more kind of milky, watered down colouring of our um, two particle emitters. So what we could do, let's just do one more. We'll drag this emitter down. This one, we'll go to display. And we'll change the colour again. Let's go with maybe a blue colour for this one. And in that vibrate tag, let's give that 
a different seed. So now we have three different emitters, all going to be blending their colours. Let's go back to our NX Blend settings. So we can make some adjustments here. For example, if we wanted this to blend um, at a kind of greater distance, so it all becomes the same kind of colour pretty quickly, we can increase this distance, this search distance, up to, say, 40 centimetres. And now um, we're going to start getting a much more kind of uniform colour because so many particles are blending eventually they all just get the same colour which gives us this very kind of milky look which for us isn't obviously what we want let's put that back down to 10 centimetres but on 10 centimetres it they are able to kind of retain some of their original colour and it's only the ones when they're quite close to other colours where that blending begins we could also, look, let's ramp up the strength so they start blending even more quickly, but let's reduce the max blend duration down. So as soon as they come into the distance of other colours, they'll blend really strongly, but only for a short amount of time, and then they'll keep whatever colour it is that they had. And that is um, meaning that we can kind of maintain some of these swirls of different colors in this gloopy bit um, so that's pretty interesting we can even put that down lower to just to say 20 frames so we get a really strong blend as soon as they touch another color but they don't blend for very long and as a result you get to keep these really obvious um, kind of striping of different colors so that is the amazing power of the nx blend it's such a fast um modifier for the calculations that it's doing and this is how we can achieve really nice mixing paint effects with nx fluid sims